In this video, we're going to be working on Sea Rock. Sea Rock is our scum ship. Uh, I'm going to go through this pretty quick and speed through the video. Um, if you're interested in some of the um, more explanation of what I'm doing, um, you can check out my Gazanti videos, which I'll link in the description below. Um, for this, we've already primed it. Um, we're going to put on a base coat now of some Deathclaw Brown. Um, I love the names of these Citadel paints. Um, but let's get to it. Okay, now we're going to do some detailing work. Sea rock. First, Abaddon Black. Iron Breaker. Wog flesh. Cantor blue. All right, now we're going to put our shade or wash on. And for this, we're going to be using Seraphin Sepia.
Okay, now we're going to dry brush. We're going to start with some Death Claw Brown, which is the same as the base coat. We're going to be doing two coats, two, two different dry brushes for this one. This is just a regular dry brush. Okay, this is going to be the second dry brush um, layer. I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be using some of this iron breaker. I'm going to be trying to do a directional dry brush. I'm going to be taking the model and I'm going to be trying to go front to back and bottom to top. With this dry brush, hopefully they just create some wear patterns on the model itself. Okay, now two layers of engine glow. First layer is going to be Everland Sunset. Now we're going to do some Lothurn Blue for the engines, and we're also going to touch up with a little bit of Abaddon Black. Okay, last step, some dull coat sealer.
Okay, just wanted to show the finished model. I think it came out fairly well. The um, extra dry brush with the um, iron breaker, I think worked really well. Um, I haven't really done that before. Um, but it gave kind of a nice kind of a rough edge. It's, it's hard to do that kind of rough edge detailing on models this small, at least it is for me. But using that, all of those high points just picked up just enough of the um, of the iron breaker to make it look like some paint had, has rubbed off in the edges and things like that. So I think it looks pretty good. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to run it at the moment. Um, I've got it up there with one of my Gazantes, which is much easier to run, um, obviously, in the game, because it's already a um, ship in the game. I'm guessing that I'll probably just run it with either Gazantes, maybe even with Rebel Transports, um, just as a conversation piece more than anything else. Um, but it was fun. I wish there was more scum and villainy capital type ships. It would be fun to uh, try and make a fleet of them. But for now, this is the only one I've got. So it'll just have to be a guns for hire in one of my other fleets. Um, thank you very much. If you like the video, please click subscribe. Click the, click the bell for uh, updates. And give a thumbs up to the video if you, if you liked it and it was helpful to you. Thank you very much.